Hi Pisces, how you doing? Welcome to your daily reading. Hope you're doing well. Let's see what's going on for you at the time you watch this video. Take what resonates as it resonates with you. You're going to have to trust your own discernment on that. Take a minute or a second, doesn't take a minute, to hit that like button for me. If you haven't um, done that, please consider it. Doesn't cost anything, doesn't take that long, and it makes a big difference. Oh, two of cups, knight of cups, Pisces. Ooh, 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 okay. The hangman and the ten of wands. You know what this is, Pisces? This is something that you've been waiting on to the point of exhaustion. The hangman with the ten of wands. And it's finally coming in. And it has to do with partnership. Now, that can be romantic. It doesn't have to be. If you've been holding back for some reason and it's been a burden to do so, now you're finally, whatever was missing is finally coming in. It allows you to do what you wanted to do to make that gesture, to make that offer, to make that submit that application, whatever that is, towards a union, a partnership, a coming together. Okay. All right. So, yeah, Pisces, thank you for your likes and your shares and your comments. Thank you for your donations and your super thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. Gives me good feedback. Yeah, look at it. It's a pentacles. You're starting something new. Page of pentacles. Ace of cups. These two together, man. There's a conversation about an investment coming in. That is whether or not, you know, someone's telling you how they feel about you and they want to be with you, or this is job offer, an opportunity to evolve, to grow, to progress, your job, your career, your business, your education somehow. Great news in terms of loans coming in, mortgages. approvals of any kind oh Pisces I'm loving it all right let's jump in let's see what's going on for Pisces at the time they watch this reading what they need to know for their highest good what's Pisces need to know for their highest good at the time they watch this reading okay. and if you want more specific day-to-day -day type readings for a daily I do that on my other channel advice to think twice linked below if you don't know that already bottom of the deck the world oh yeah accomplishment completion travel could be significant relocation could be significant wrapping up a cycle in a way that you're very happy with or happy about because there's an element of celebration, recognition, being on top of the world, things coming full circle. Ooh, the star in today's energy, Aquarius energy. Yeah, dream come true. Again, I get the sense of something that was in the distance, okay? Look, it's rushing in now with the Knight of Wands. Something that was in the distance. You looked at it as, you know, the wishing upon a star scenario. You looked at it as, wouldn't it be nice if? But you perceived it as far away from you for whatever reason, right? That would take too long. That would take too much effort. That would take, you know, too many changes in my life to make that happen. So it's almost like, yeah, that would be nice. But, you know, it's not something attainable, right? Um, or you you can't go for it for whatever reason, right? That's, that was a perception, and then with the world and the Knight of Wands, it, it's getting a hell of a lot closer, right? To you being able to grasp it or it's happening. Let's see. The challenge position, the chariot, yeah. Movement was a challenge. So either something was stuck and you viewed it as, well, it's at a distance, there's nothing I can do about it, hence that unattainable ener energy, right? It, it's over there it's way over there i can't move towards it it's not moving towards me i'm just gonna have to leave alone right or where you couldn't move towards something you couldn't do something you couldn't take action you couldn't make something happen for whatever reason it was blocked okay Aquarius energy cancer energy so far the fool in the foundation wow this is to do all major so far this is to do with a massive new beginning in your life, 
okay? And that could be, it's, it's levels for, for people, right? But that's the energy. So it could be a job change for some, or it could be relocation on the other side of the world for others, right? It's that energy of something new, something you've never done before, something you've never experienced before, something you wanna go for, or you wanna take a chance on, right? Something that inspires you, um, but it was stuck, it was blocked, and so you had to look at it as, the, yeah, that would be nice, but I can't do it, I can't have it. The sun, wow, in the recent past. Pisces, what in the world? All major so far. And you see me shuffle and you see how I pull the cards. I don't pull one after the other, right? Okay, I'm a little speechless. Okay, all right. The sun in the recent past tells me that again, there's been some sort of recognition, some sort of revelation, some sort of victory energy that has got this situation unstuck. So if you're waiting for something, it came in. And you're like, yes, I can go for it now, right? And that could be you got the loan, you got the job, you got what you wanted in a situation, and now you can you can progress it. You can take action towards it, right? I got that money. Yes, now I can put it towards this idea. Now I can put it towards this business. Now I can put it towards me moving, right? This is also freedom and independence. So maybe you've completed a cycle, you've paid off a debt, you've completed a contract and you're no longer bound to it. So now you're like, yes, now I can go over there, right? Or I got out of a relationship, now I can go talk to that person that I really, really wanted to talk to, but because I was obligated over here, you know, it's one of them where, yeah, that'd be nice, but I can't have it. And now it's like, yes, I can, now I can have it. Now I can do it, now I can go after it or allow it to come in. On the mind, the high priestess. Oh my. Okay. Listen, I don't freak out that often in readings. You know that about me. You should. Um, but this is significant. This is significant, Pisces. All major arcanas. It's a big deal. It's a big change. It's a. It, and again, it's something that with the high priestess, you haven't spoken about it. You, have, you know, you had to keep it to yourself or there's a secret to, aspect to it. There's a confidentiality clause somewhere or there's a secret wish, secret desire that you haven't spoken about because, again, maybe you were bound to something else, someone else. But now you can pursue it. Wow. Okay. So let's see where things are going to go. We have the Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Yeah. This is now, I expect to see that come in. Now I'm, I can welcome it. I can, Page of Cups, Seven of Cups, something you've thought about, contemplated, dreamt about, wouldn't it be nice if prayed about, but it was in your head, it was in the ethers, right? Now with the Three of Wands, you're expecting it to come in. So you're saying to someone, hey, I can talk to you about that now. Talk to me again about that. Let's let's get together again and, and talk about it because I can do that now, right? Or you can, you can now put yourself out there somehow and, or you're doing it, right? And then you're expecting a reply or a result or to see what happens. And it's, not surprising that all this is major arcana and these are minor because this tells me that whatever needed to be set up arranged whatever the situation is it's meant to be in your life somehow or another okay one way or another but a lot of things had to be put in place so therefore that's why there were delays and challenges and obstacles that either kept this at a distance from you or made you feel like you had to keep at a distance from it and so a lot of different things had to be put in place. Uh, people had to be the right people, had to be in the right places at the right time, to have the right conversations, that kind of situation, right? Once that's done, which is what this is, now it's up to you. Do you see what I mean? Now you have more power in the situation. So I'm not surprised to see major and minor um, arcana in these positions. Oh, whoa. Okay, Pisces, let's clarify. Let's get more cards out. But this is awesome. This is beautiful. So let's see. 
the star in the current situation, five of wands. There, there's been a lot of inner conflict or outer conflict or both when it comes to this situation. Either you telling yourself there's no way that's going to happen and then you having fights with yourself over that. Like, no, it, it, yes, I could make that happen. No, you couldn't because you'd have to do this and then, you know, and we've all been there. Or this is other people around you telling you that's stupid, that's ridiculous, that would never happen. You know, get, out, get your head out of the clouds. Okay. Or um, there's an element of competition around whatever this thing is with the star for you everyone's going for it multiple people are going for it it would cause competition it would cause conflict and maybe that's why you chose to bow out not even attempt it right but it's that kind of that kind of situation the chariot in the challenge position the king of pentacles for some of you this is where you were waiting for the money you were waiting for a decision for you to get the money get the money back from something get the money out of something or get a new source of income loan grant mortgage approved whatever it is and this has taken a long time to get to you okay but your money was tied up this is also an energy of obligation you're bound to to something you're bound to someone there's contracts in place there's there's obligations of some sort a Taurus of Virgo or Capricorn could have been a challenge or a cancer could have been a challenge slowing things down grounding things anchoring things Or again, you've just had to go through a process where nothing was up to you. All you could do was submit your request or your application or put something forward. And then you just had to wait for a council to look at it. And it's like everyone's, people aren't there at the same time, right? It's difficult to get those people together in one place at the same time to review your documentation or your paperwork or your request, right? Because people are on holiday and some people are sick and some people have this going on and some people can't make the meeting. Whatever it was, the stars finally aligned for that council, that group of people, or however that resonates, right? Like I said, right people being together in the right place at the right time to have the right conversations. Okay, that has happened. Okay, the fool in the foundation, queen of pentacles. This is, again, for a lot of you, this has to do with your money being tied up in, in a lawsuit as part of a process, inheritance money being tied up, um, your salary not being right or being withheld somehow, um, a loan request taking a hell of a lot of time to, to go through, get through. But this could also be to do with a partnership coming together, Queen and King of Pentacles with the Fool. And there have been obstacles and there have been challenges because of other people, okay? The sun in the recent past, five of pentacles. This is something you almost gave up on. This is something, it's one of them where you longed for it, but the longer it did not happen, the more you were in this energy of lack and uh, and, and feeling its absence or feeling the lack of it. Okay, if it's money, if it's a person, if it's your desired outcome, whatever it is. You, you, I feel like you almost gave up on it or you did give up on it. And then here comes the sun, right? And if there has been chaos and com conflict and competition, the sun is telling you that you're the victor, you are the winner here. I also feel that for some of you, it's almost like you had no choice. If you were holding yourself back from something, I feel like the universe stepped in and removed that from your life. So for example, if you said, I'm not going to go apply for that job or that promotion because that's gonna cause chaos and conflict with these people that I get along with, they're gonna have a big issue about it. But that job or that promotion was meant for you and you were the right person for it. So the universe stepped in and removed the other people somehow right or if that's not how that happened it, the, it you got pushed into a corner you got pushed into a corner to where it's like I need the money I have no choice I have no choice I have to go for that job I have to go for that promotion if people are gonna have an issue with it they're gonna have an issue with it but I need the money like I can't you know something happened where it forced your hand 
either forced your hand out of something that you were holding on to, and that's why you didn't go for this thing, or it forced your hand in the sense that what you had was no longer enough and it wasn't funny anymore, like, you know. The High Priestess on the Mind, the Five of Swords, look at all these fives. And the Five of Swords is a hard fought and hard won battle. The kind where you stop and think, was that even worth it? Because that was a lot to go through. But if other people are the reason why you were holding yourself back from something that was meant for you, the High Priestess with the Five of Swords is now people are talking, but you're staying out of it. You're not explaining yourself. You're not debating with anyone. You're staying out of it. It is what it is. You can have opinions. If you think I'm that kind of cutthroat person that would intentionally hurt someone else to get ahead, then you don't know me anyway, so what am I going to explain myself to you for, right? But definitely change. Some chaos. Other people's opinions involved. Other people's feelings getting hurt somehow but it's not about that that's not what this is but yeah in today's energy you could have people coming at you either with accusations or snide comments or as jealousy and pettiness to be honest with you and unfortunately as the world we live in but with the high priestess there you're sitting in your grace in your integrity you're not getting involved you're not responding and reacting, you're not engaging, okay? Because you know it's not about that. You know you didn't do anything wrong. And they either get it or they don't, it's not, e not even up to you. Because of this victory, because of this thing going in your favor, obviously other people are gonna be losers, right, in the situation. <clears throat> and not everyone's a graceful loser. So, let's see, Page of Cups, Seven of Cups, Three of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. All the fives are out. Big changes. Big changes, Pisces. You can't go back from this. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's not like the tower where it's a big change and something is being leveled out. It's more like there's a big change. You can't go back to what was. But what you're looking at and what you're embracing is a hell of a lot better. So it's the focus is towards what's coming in, not what's going away. Right? So that's why we don't see the tower at this point. And with the star, the tower might have already happened because the star follows the tower and the tarot. Um, but yeah, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, new offer, new beginning that you are embarking upon, you're investing, you're accepting, you're getting started with it, right? Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, let's put in the hard work, let's plant that seed and make it grow. And with the Five of Cups, there can be an element of, you know, I'm sorry people didn't get to come with me or I'm sorry people feel the way they feel about my decision or what happened in this situation because for some of you it wasn't your decision it, it was the fair decision the right decision right so it's not even how is that your fault right if for example there's some sort of competition and you get chosen like how's that your fault you know why would you apologize for being the best candidate in a situation come on come on now um, and if these people were your friends in any way or had any sort of respect for you they wouldn't be behaving this way right so it feels like acceptance that you know what if this is how people are going to feel about it it is what it is but i can't deny this anymore i can't deny myself this anymore i'm going for it i'm doing it right and what else for pisces the four of cup sorry four of cups queen of cups and the death card yeah this is literally what i just said i'm not denying myself anymore i'm going to love myself nurture myself respect myself allow whatever needs to end whatever is ending to go that's the death card i don't need to do anything about it it's going anyway right which is my point of that's part of the co-creation process where the universe stepped in and either leveled something out released you from something or kicked you out of something somehow right and you're saying i'm gonna go with it i'm gonna go with it i'm gonna go where it takes me i'm not gonna hold myself back anymore i'm not gonna hold back from the situation anymore I'm not going to keep myself in a place where I'm miserable because of what other people are going to think and what other people are going to believe and how other people are going to perceive a situation, right? 
you've made your choice and you're going with it and it is what it is so the world with the knight of wands again travel relocation temperance coming together union partnership with the devil underneath the six of swords the king of swords the four of pentacles the ace of swords the magician and the nine of cups so yeah th this is to do with holding yourself back okay because at one point in time you thought that was the right thing to do king of swords or again something moving slowly because it's the legal system it's the government that's that's the process right that could be what that is and so with the four of pentacles this is you putting your money and investing your money either your money on hold because of this with the four of pentacles you, you have it but you can't access it or you could have it but somehow you can't access it there's a victory in that sense okay ace of swords legal win there's a victory beating out the competition however that resonates or this is where you cut yourself out of a situation release yourself from a situation okay because it's keeping you stuck it's keeping you bound not the devil right and again temperance is what i'm telling you divine timing and that's literally what that is right that's one way of putting it the right people in the right in, at the right place in the right time at the right time in the right place having the right conversations that's divine timing okay that allows this to now come together and come together quickly okay pisces please comment and let me know what this is for you because this is awesome what have you been released from recently? What have you released yourself from recently? What did you go for and take a chance on despite what other people are gonna think and feel and believe about it? Or what is it that has pushed you in a corner and left you no choice but to go for something that again, out of some sort of sense of duty you are holding back from? Duty, obligation, right? And for others of you, whatever it was that was moving very, very slowly because it's such a big thing, a big deal, it took a long time to come together, you kind of almost gave up on it or you did give up on it, what is it, right? What is that for you? We have one ring circus, 15. So this is where we try to do everything ourselves. Um, this is also a lot of burden and a lot of responsibility just on you or you putting that burden and responsibility on yourself or this is some sort of people pleasing behavior with all these people here okay where it's like well my decisions impact everyone and that can be true but that's not necessarily it doesn't have to be a factor in your decisions right just because someone's going to have an opinion about a decision we make about ourselves and for ourselves do you know what i mean they can have opinions like that shouldn't influence your decision for yourself about yourself right magical map shifter something is taking a turn something is being redefined something is coming together where it couldn't come together before divine timing intention someone expressing intention you can finally express intention or you can accept or embrace something that was offered presented suggested to you again the energy of partnership here with the 22 making a choice with the 30 energy towards growth towards expansion towards following your own path for some of you this is where you're going i cannot let other people dictate my life you're holding back from an opportunity that is so perfect for you because of what other people are going to think and that could be your family i know it's not easy don't get me wrong but you're coming to that place of understanding of listen this is ridiculous i'm holding myself back because of other people that if the shoe was on the other foot they would go for it in an instant which is the truth, Pisces, okay? If the shoe was on the other foot, they would not be going through this hell and, and thinking about your feelings, not as much as they are, you've been thinking about theirs. You know what I mean? And you can either choose chaos and conflict and restriction and holding yourself back, fitting in a box that you outgrew ages ago, relationship, job, friendship, community, whatever it is, as to, you know, not to upset people or you could choose a different path for yourself that brings you peace, that peace, growth, abundance, happiness. But yeah, you are gonna leave some people behind. You are gonna leave an environment behind. You are gonna leave a community behind. You are gonna leave a way of life behind. 
And I feel like you're finally ready to embrace that because if you are holding back, again, out of that sense of duty and I don't want to upset people and I don't want to upset, rock the boat, whatever, the universe stepped in and changed that anyway. The, box, the, the, the rock has been, the rock, the boat has been rocked. The box has been broken uh, somehow, one way or another, right? To where there's nothing for you to do but go for it, right? You have deep freeze, 26, you've put yourself, if this is you holding back from something, you've put yourself in a state of deep freeze. I'm not going to take action on this because the right thing to do, the obligation or the whatever is not to rock the boat, not to upset the status quo in this situation, in this group, in this dynamic, whatever. And for others of you, the situation has been put on a freeze that could be literal where something got suspended temporarily right or again people went on holiday or people weren't there to make the the decisions to give the approvals they didn't put uh they didn't delegate or whatever so it's almost like there's nothing we can do until they come back right unexpected visitors 41 again adding up to the number of five the number of change unexpected movement unexpected arrival and that could be communication, that could be notification, that could be the paperwork you've been waiting on, or you stopped waiting on and here it is, right? There's a delivery or there's an arrival or there's an unexpected conversation happening. Another five, goblins. Listen, I'm telling you, what other people think, what other people feel and believe, the community, the environment you were in somehow, that put a lot of fear, doubt in you and it kept you stuck. It got you holding back, holding yourself back from things or whatever the, the other situation is, the other dynamic where you were trying to go, it kept that on hold, okay? This could also be a, a situation where people have been actively sabotaging something and that came to light and it's being removed, um, giving false statements, false information, lies and gossip, okay? That has been cleared. It's coming. The truth came to light. That's what that sun is. Um, yeah, and for others of you, the goblins just represent the, the, the rigmarole, the red tape, right? All the hoops this has had to go through. And then we have ghost lands, number 17. I'm telling you something that you kind of gave up on. Either you told yourself, I'm not going to do it. And then the universe stepped in and said, well, we removed whatever obstacle you said you had in your path or whatever was holding you back, we removed that. So are you sure you're not going to do it? Or something that, again, took so long and it, there was such, it was so challenging and so difficult or you saw nothing happening for the longest time or whatever the situation is to where you thought, you know what, that's never going to happen. Again, with the star, that would be great and it would be a dream come true, but it's not happening. Nothing's going, nothing's going in that direction. I'm not seeing any movement. I'm not seeing any action. I've tried and it's blocked, right? It's on freeze. It's on pause, whatever it is. And here, this thing is going to be coming back from the dead. And it could be to do with the Mercury retrograde energy where whenever you tried to start this before, it was the, it was the wrong time somehow. But it was the catalyst to things starting to align, okay? You might've tried to, to, to do something during the last Mercury retrograde, which I don't know when that was, but that's the energy I'm getting. You might've tried to do something during the last Mercury retrograde or the shadow period of a Mercury retrograde, two retrogrades go through, during a retrograde, right? And it didn't come together. It didn't come together, okay? This time, it's being revisited, reviewed, resubmitted, readdressed, redone, okay? Whatever, however that resonates. And this time it can come together because it's the right time now, right? So Pisces, that is what I have for us today. Let me know what this is for you, how you resonate with the reading. I really hope it helps you because it's amazing. And yeah, what is this that you've been holding back from something great? What is this that's been holding you back? Because it, it looks like it's gone away or your hand was forced in the situation um, to where you're free to do it now, you know? Um, like you try to do the right thing and hold back from it, but it was meant for you. So you're kind of 
being encouraged to do it still. It's coming back around. Are you sure you don't want to do this? You might have passed on this before because you thought it was the right thing to do and now it's coming back around. Pisces, are you sure you don't want this because now things are different for you? You could go for it if you wanted to, right? Or whatever this is that's been put on freeze and it's been taken forever because of other people or meddling or process or false statements and declarations or just how long things take or not, you know, the right people not being able to review whatever that is. Um, and you kind of gave up on it right what is it because it's coming you'll be you'll be very surprised okay but it's happening so pisces i'll leave that there hope you uh enjoy the reading hope it helps have a great day i'll see you in the next one bye for now